the day I'm going to be teaching you how to do an ollie on a finger bar the easiest way. So yeah, we're ready let's get right into it. Okay, so ollie is probably one of the hardest tricks to learn, especially if you're just starting off. It's one of the hardest but most important tricks, because you can't ollie, you can't do other tricks like that. Or just any trick that pretty much relies on an ollie. Unless you're doing like technical stuff, like ball and stuff. And grind, you don't really need an ollie ball, but ollie is probably one of the most important tricks to learn. So it literally makes you do anything like tricks. I have a pretty bad today. It helps you do tricks. So yeah, I'm gonna teach you how to do an ollie. Simplest way. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is learn your stance. So if you don't know what stance is, it's where you're putting your fingers placement. And it's honestly don't go off what anyone else does. Try different stances and see which one you find comfortable. Because at first when I was starting off, everybody was telling me to put it on the two um, screw bits. And I did. And I just couldn't, I was, wasn't finding it comfortable. So I found my stance. Which is a finger on there and a finger up around the heater area. It does change. But it's just the most comfortable for me. Okay, so then, then the next thing is an ollie is basically just kicking your board or with the back of your finger and then pushing. And then you, you just jump like that. So you want to basically just keep practicing that. So smacking your board up and pushing your finger. So. So that feels natural. It's really hard not to do with grip tape, but yeah, so that feels natural. And the next thing is you're not gonna get anywhere by just riding and trying to. It's really hard just to ride and then as you're riding along, just all in. So what you wanna do is when you're about to do it, take it back a little bit, or just sort of like a little pause and then ollie. So ride up, take it back a little bit, and then ollie, instead of, which is a lot harder to do than just. Okay, so now the final and probably the most important tip to learning an ollie is actually doing it on a wall. I don't know if this is a clear view. It's a lot easier to do it on a wall then a uh, floor so try to do it on a wall first just to get the, to the movement and then gradually gradually get to smaller things get to flat things just to be saying like a desk also along that step try all your off stuff because you can't you know, just ride off and then put more and more of a jump in until you eventually can then just go. Okay, that's a really bad surface to do it off. Until you can actually just ollie off. And then once you can ollie off there, you'll most probably be able to ollie flat. Okay, so that's how to do an ollie in my fingerboard. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Bye.